The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. With today's boat building technology, it's getting harder and harder to make that choice between a pontoon boat, a deck boat, or a ski boat. The 8522 Sport from Sylvan kind of brings it all together in one boat. So if you'll join me on board, I'll show you some of those features that I think sets this boat apart. Sylvan isn't trying to build larger and larger pontoon boats like many other pontoon boat builders in the industry. Rather, they're setting themselves apart and focusing on getting more out of less. While most are adding tubes and pushing the outboard engines to their limits, Sylvan's working on the technology to get more out of the same two pontoons you're used to seeing. Well, two pontoons anyway, with revolutionary planing technology that allows more power and speed from smaller engines. The design will satisfy the young and the executive class while delivering plenty of room for the big parties and performance of water sports. Take a look at the design on here. Very rich look, this black with the uh, raised Sylvan on there looks really nice. This is standard aluminum, looks good, but look here, this is a uh, brushed polished piece and the corner pieces with the docking lights and the nav lights. This will seat 14 people overall. I'm not a small guy and you can see there's a lot of space around. But let me point out something that's significant. We got our stainless steel cup holders, but look where the speakers are. A lot of times you'll see the speakers are mounted in the bases. A lot more convenient for them to mount them down there but it ends up muffling the sound. The lounger back seat lifts up and you got storage in here. Sometimes I've seen them even put a trash can in, in an area like that. But over here in front of the helm, lift this seat up. And it looks like this one's set up to be a cooler if you want to use it as a cooler. It's got a drain in it and sounds like it might even be insulated. Now, I've seen a changing room on pontoon boats and deck boats before. Usually it's in the back and it takes up a lot of valuable storage space. They've got theirs up here at the end of this end cap. Pops up nice and easy. Snap keeps it together. The next nice feature I like about it is this little storage piece that holds all the floppy end together. Makes it a whole lot easier to put this away when you're ready to put it away. Pull it out. Instant changing room. Got a little table we can set up back here in this aft seating area or you can move it up front and serve some snacks up front. Very nice looking helm. It's a real sporty look but it's also still kind of a, an executive look as far as I'm concerned. We have a tilt wheel. It's a padded wheel, three spoke. Looks like it's a sports car wheel. Uh, this is an upgrade stereo. This one is Sirius Satellite ready. Now this has the optional wakeboard tower on it and the Infinity sound system. I've tested a lot of very high-end water performance boats lately, and this is the sound system they put on that. So they're putting on a very nice system on this one. Also has the PA system tied into it as well. Sylvan's 8522 Sport measures 22 feet 3 inches length overall with a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. That means you can trailer this boat. She weighs in at 2,100 pounds dry without engine and is rated for up to 150 horsepower. She carries 35 gallons of fuel and is rated for up to 14 people or a maximum of 2,200 pounds of people and gear combined. I drove this model several times during testing. She handles very well, both at speed and around the docks. They changed the prop once and I got even better performance. Testing results are here with four people on board. While the speed results we got on test day aren't quite what Sylvan engineers wanted, with only one person on board, the boat did register over 40 miles per hour. Perhaps with more tuning of the engine and prop combination, you could improve on the results we got with the typical load on board. At a comfortable cruising speed of 12.8 miles per hour, she was running 2,500 RPM and produced a range of 116 miles on a full tank. Sound levels remain reasonable, recording 63 at idle and 89 at maximum, which was mostly wind noise. Lots of standards like the standard Berber carpet, lots of great options like this wakeboard tower with killer sound system. So be sure and take a look at that 8522 from Sylvan.